What I have mostly noticed in a nutshell is that the tutorials are more about sharing elements of branding or elements of a French fantasy or cliche. Meanwhile, I have gathered elements shared with people that gave me feedback about what made me look Parisian. If it really matters, by the way. Stick with me, I'm going to share all of this with you now. Hi everyone, my name is Margot and I'm French. If you are interested in cross-cultural experiences and living abroad stories, this channel is for you. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button and enjoy the video. Disclaimer, maybe I'm not the right person to speak on fashion. Let's debunk a cliche that it's not because you're a French person that you are necessarily a fashionista or even interested in fashion. I'm one of those people. Don't get me wrong, I highly value fashion, like gastronomy, as an art form. It's just that it's not my primary interest in life. Music, dancing, singing are what I'm obsessed with. I highly respect artists in the field of fashion and gastronomy. It's just not my primary thing. It's also not my main thing because dressing up is a part of my work. Or let me stress it a different way, it's a mandatory part of my work. And for everything related to my work, I'm a little bit meticulous. I put a lot of effort, details and so on. So when I'm not working, I really enjoy living this part of looking fabulous for the working day. Let's say it this way. Why would I do a video on Parisian tips then? Well, first of all, because I'm curious. I'm curious about those tutorials videos on the internet that are supposed to define me because they are sharing tips about Parisian fashion or Parisian style and as a Parisian, it should define me. But most of the time the stories are just funny and a bunch of cliches about red lipstick or wearing perfume instead of a pyjama. For once, we should definitely give it back to Marilyn. That being said, through the time, I recognized some patterns, some feedbacks from my American or international friends that were on the range of, oh, you look elegant, oh, this is so chic, oh, this is so French, or, oh, you're such a Parisian, or, I don't know, is your top coming from Paris? And I was just wondering, what if the woman of my life had transmitted me some rules about fashion that I didn't recognize as rules, but as logic or common sense? But thanks to my experience of living abroad, I was getting more and more awareness about what was real common sense and what was not. And when she those videos, I was just like discovering myself as Oh, wait a minute, this is something that I'm doing for real that I never noticed before. Drums rolling, please. Uh, here are the Parisian French rules that I recognized through times. I am going to read the list because I don't want to mess it up or for you to miss a precious piece of advice. So the first one is the importance of tailoring. That I have always tailored a piece of clothing that wasn't fit to my body type. And I insist on that. So instead of buying new clothes, I would dedicate an amount of money each month to tailor my clothes. And it's going to bring so much comfort and so much ease, you know, in, in your everyday life. And I'm always stunned by the fact that my American friends, when I'm saying, oh, I'm tearing my clothes, they are just like, oh my goodness, somebody is becoming snobbish here. And no, it's just that it's really something basic to my mentality to tailor my clothes so I'm comfortable in them, that's all. Second thing is about the type of material I'm using. If a clothes, a piece of clothing or even shoes doesn't contain at least 20% 20, 20 of a natural material, I know that it's going to become in a few hours my worst enemy. 
we know about the 100% synthetic piece of clothes that are super elastic. They are fun, but we know that through time is not, not a good choice. Then I'm always keeping a range of color that is between, I don't know, like black, white, beige, gray. I can hide it because in the video you will never find something different. So this is my go-to range and uh, yeah, it makes uh, something very unified, I would say. Um, yeah, another rule very important. When the bottom is tight, the top has to be loose and vice versa. Otherwise it's too much or uncomfortable. Um, about the sexy elements, I would say not more than one, that it's either the cleavage or a short skirt or heels for the same reason, otherwise I feel it's too much. And about the jewels is never having more than two pieces at a time. So it's either earring bracelet or bracelet necklace or necklace earring, you get it. Same thing, last but not least about the makeup. I always thought that it was logical common sense to enhance one feature only. So either it's the mouth or the eyes. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. In the comment section below, let me know which of these Parisian French tips you would be willing to try first. And if you want me to dig in deeper in one of those tips, just let me know. In the next episode, we'll be discussing Parisian beauty tips and I will be very open and clear with you it will be largely inspired by Miss Inès de la Fressange. Stay tuned, à bientôt.